In this video, I'm going to redesign Eric's website from the ground up. Eric is an awesome programmer with his own YouTube channel, so check that out in the description. Hit like and let's just jump into it. I'm going to take you through the entire process that I go through when I'm creating a website. And this includes things like doing the wireframe, sketching it up multiple times, and finally getting something I'm happy with, and then creating a design guide, and finally creating the whole thing on a application like Figma. The first thing that I do normally is try and draw out wireframes for the website I'm designing because this gives me ideas and inspiration of how I can create it. Okay, the wireframe stage is more or less done. I'm really happy with the results. Some of the things I've done here is try and take an idea of his YouTube channel and his blog and everything that we need to put into this design and incorporate them all in a fun and interesting way. Things that are focused on is trying to highlight the menu and the call to action, as well as trying to link through to the YouTube clips as well. Let's put this all together and try and incorporate it into a better looking website now. I'm going to use a tool called Figma to help me create the website design. We're going to transform this wireframe with a style sheet and number of pages and get this up and running. Having followed Eric for quite a while, I know a lot of his website and content is around Vue. So I'm going to actually reuse some of the styling that they have on their core website to create his style guide. This allows things to look consistent and for people who are already using Vue or want to get into it, feel nice and comfortable on his website here. We can create a style guide here from the buttons and the colors of the Vue website. So I've used a little bit of the greens and grays here, and we're going to create some buttons for hover, for active, and we're going to all use this as part of the style guide we'll use later in the website. Once the style guide is done, I move into actually creating the design inside Figma because I can use the reference of the buttons and the colors to get that process started. I start off with the hero section and I look at my notes from my iPad and more or less recreate the same idea. Here I'm using the colors that I've gotten from view and making sure that all of them are working together along with the image. I want this to be a nice welcoming image so that people landing on this page sort of want to sign up. The header is more or less done now. I've got good images, colors, and text happening here. So we can move on to the next section, which is creating the blog and news, which is something that Eric does quite often. Eric also has a number of great courses on Vue, so I've actually decided to showcase them a little bit more with little previews where you can sign up or view more information about the courses, and this should help engage more people to sign up in general. I'm nearly done. I'm going to add one more course in here to have maybe an advanced course for Vue and add in a newsletter section where people can sign up and get the latest information when different courses are coming out. Great. The design is done. Let's take a closer look at the results. Here's the final design. As you can tell, we've incorporated a lot of those green and gray elements to really give this website a Vue kind of feel. The website has three main sections, the hero section, the blog section, and the course section. These all work together so that if you're looking for something in particular, especially Vue related, most of these topics are covered on the page. Hope you guys enjoyed this new format of video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.